Welcome again everyone to the complete free Flutter course presented by yours truly, Ovidius Mazurum. Today we're going to go over the exercise solution for exercise free. For anybody that doesn't remember, we were challenged to create an automated list that returns all the hours by 15 minutes increments. For example, 000, 00, 15 and so on all the way until 23.45. So if we take a look at these numbers, straight away you should be thinking, okay, I'm gonna need to use some kind of modulo. Using the modulo will make it easy for me to uh, you know, control this, this part, the thing after the colon. I'm gonna need some kind of string interpolation, obviously. And I'm gonna need either several if else statements or more easily the ternary operators, which we learned about last time, the question mark and that colon. The first thing I would do is make some kind of function to generate this for us. So we'll have it as a list, of course. The return type will be list of string, and I'm really bad with names. I don't know, what should I, what should I call it? Um, get list of quarter hours, for example. And we don't need to take any inputs because it doesn't depend on anything. We're always going to return the same thing here. And to begin with, we're going to make a list of string. And in this, we'll put the endings. So 00, 15, 30, 45. And, and we should call this quarters. And then we're also going to need a return list which we'll populate later. For now we'll leave it empty, as well as a temp string which we're going to use to store our temporary values. And we can have we'll we're going to need some kind of temporary in some kind of hours or we can really call it anything we want. I, J, it's all the same. So to begin with we're going to have some kind of for loop or any kind of loop is going to be perfectly fine. And in this loop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with int i equals zero. Then we'll say i less than. And what do we want here? We want to have, we want to go over all of the elements we'll have in our list. And that's going to be 24, the number of hours, times four. Because we want each of these quarters for each hour. So that's going to be 25 times 4. And then we're just going to say i++ at the end. Once we have our loop, we're going to take our hours and set it equal to i floor divided by 4. And you might be wondering why we're doing this. 4, it of course, represents the number of courses we have. And what it's going to do is on the first iteration where i is 0, you know, we're going to have 0. Second one, i is 1, it's still going to give us 0 all the way up until the third one. And then on the fourth iteration, when i equals four, then it's gonna give us back one here. So what that's gonna end up doing is my hours is gonna be zero, 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 zero. And then only on the next one, it's gonna go up till zero, one. Once we have this, we're gonna need some way of correcting for having zero, zero versus zero, one versus just 10. The easiest way of doing this will be by having an if statement or actually a series of if statements, but we do need to balance making our code readable with making it concise. So I'll say if hours greater than zero, which might seem a bit strange, but you'll see what I mean in a second. And inside of this if statement, we can select our temp string and set it equal to, and let's think what do we want it to be equal to? Well, we're gonna need another if statement here. And this time I can use a ternary inside the curly bra brackets in the string interpolation to say if hours greater than nine. So if the hours is greater than nine, then I would want to see hours. But if it's less than nine, then give me back and I can use another string interpolation here, to say zero, and then give me the hours. So what this is going to do is if it's 10 or more, it's just going to say 10. But if it's 9, for example, it's going to give me 0, 9, 0, 8, and so on. And that's why we have hours over 10. 
but we also have the case where we want it to say 0, 0, in which case we can just say 0, 0 here. And of course, we could have combined these two together in a single very complex thing, it's a string interpolation. That would have also been fine, but the resulting line of code would have been very confusing, very long and difficult to read. So personally, I feel it's better to split it up this way, but you don't need to actually. And the next thing we can do is add the colon at the end, because I'm always going to need this colon. This is going to be this symbol here. And now to get this part, the correct one, we're going to need to use some kind of modulo. We'll take the temp string and say plus equals. So now we have this part, we just want to add this and we'll put quarters. And here we'll use I modulo four. So if you guys remember what that does, that's going to give us whatever is left from dividing I by four. In other words, I will never go over four. So on the first iteration, when I is zero, I modulo four is zero, and quarters, I modulo four will be zero, zero. On the next iteration, I is gonna be one. When it's one, it's gonna give me this one, two, three. And then once we have four, on the fourth iteration, four modulo four is zero. So we're gonna go back to getting zero, zero. On the fifth iteration, 15, and so on and so forth. So by doing this, we're going to end up with having well, our hours modulo our quarters, right? So we've actually done the most difficult parts. And now all we have to do is say return list dot add and then add the temp string. And one thing I would like to point out is in the hours here, we have to remember to use equals, not plus equals, because if you use the plus equals here, you're going to end up in the second loop over this. So this will be your results after the first loop. On the second loop, you'll still have that, but then it will add 0, 1 and well, 0, 0 and 15. And you'll end up with this on your second iteration. Then on your third iteration, it's going to again take this and add this and that's not going to look nice at all. Right, so make sure that here we're using just the equals to reset the temp string rather than using the plus equals. And finally, all we have to do is return our return list. Just make sure that you return it outside of the for loop. If you accidentally said in here, return return list, you would only get the first output here, zero, zero, and then our function would stop executing and you wouldn't get everything else. Obviously, that's not what we that's not what we want. So there we have it. And now the only thing we need to do is put it inside a main function to make sure it's working correctly. We can say list string my list equals get list of quarters. And then we can print my list to make sure it's correct. Then go into our terminal here, make it bigger dot, we're in v10, exercise free dot dot. And you can see we have it correctly, 0, 0, 0, 15. But you know what, this isn't very eligible. I don't feel that it's the best way of showing it. So instead, let's use my list dot for each. And we can say print element. And then if we run it again, and actually I should get rid of this one. And finally, we can see the list printed very nicely, correctly. It starts at zero, zero, and goes in 15 minutes increments up till zero, one, and then keeps going till 2345. And once we have this list, it would be quite trivial to use it in a dropdown. All we'd have to do is make another for each or a map function and instead of printing out the elements, we could build the entire button or drop down elements, something like that. So there we have it, guys. I hope you were able to learn a lot. And again, this was a real question I saw on Facebook. So I hope you guys did pay attention because there's a good chance you will need to do something similar to this in the future, if not exactly this. So that's been it for me for today. 
and I hope to see you guys again next time. So for myself, Avidius, I'm out.